This program was paid for by Water of Life Church. From Water of Life Ministries in Plano, Texas, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is speaking through his servants to the world. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying today. Let us join Doyle Davidson and others of Water of Life, sowing the Word of God in spirit and in truth. Hello, I'm Doyle Davidson, servant and apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, ministering locally to the body of Christ in Dallas and Fort Worth, Texas, sent by God to your house <coughs> to deliver the gospel unto you. Thank God. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Amen. 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 More does not that even in your heart and your mouth is the word of faith which I preach. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. With the heart, man believe unto righteousness. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. There's a power of God unto salvation. Never want to believe it. To the Jew first, and also to the Greek. Therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith and faith as it is written, the just shall live by his faith. Amen. I want to welcome everyone receiving this broadcast on live stream, Roku, Apple TV, YouTube, and other devices, and shortwave. Radio. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I had to think what day of the week it was. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Kathy Davidson, the comic on my lips. <laughs> you know, she makes me laugh. Or she does. Amen. Amen. But Kathy D, on my lap, thank God, co host, and I appreciate the work she does in my life. Amen. Amen. You got anything to say to that? I appreciate you. You what? I, said, I appreciate you. Oh, wow. You know what she says? Put that down and sign it. <laughs> <laughs> we better have the my girls, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, quick.
Have you lived with me? Uh, I'm in the, well, nine years. Nine years. You know, uh, I guess it's pretty remarkable how well we get along. I'd say it's a bona fide miracle. <laughs> Comic. <laughs> God had to, God changed my heart, fixed it. Do what? I said, when I first got there, it was not so easy, but God changed my heart, put me through some correction. Yeah. I seem to remember some of that. <laughs> you still have the scars. <laughs> you know? Amen. Well, what I finally realized, she was a prophetess sent by God to speak to me, I became more cordial. <laughs> well, so everybody understands, you speak to me and us a whole lot more than I speak to you. Really? Yes. You may say good morning. <laughs> Amen. Well, I thank God for her, and I've said it, and I'll keep it up. She's one of the best preachers I ever heard. I don't just say female. I say one of the best preachers I ever heard. She preached the truth. Amen. So, have you got something you'd like to preach on? I sure do. Okay. All right. I'm an ambassador of Christ. That's why I preach. You are? Yes. So am I. Amen. Good. If you will turn with me to Isaiah 42. I'm going to expound a little bit more on what I spoke this morning about the blood of Jesus. When you, that blood of Jesus, that blood of Jesus, it'll fix things. All right. Isaiah 42. It says, behold, my servant whom I uphold. This is Jehovah speaking. And look what he says. Behold, my servant. Behold, my servant. John 1, 1 says, in the beginning was the word. That word was Jesus. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. There were two in heaven. Jesus was a God. And now here in chapter 42 of Isaiah, he is a servant. A servant. Isaiah 52 begins, uh, 52, 13 begins, behold my servant. Jesus left heaven, left the grandeur, the majesty, the power of heaven. He came down here to become a servant. And why did he become a servant? It says, Behold my servant whom I uphold, mine elect, in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. Jesus was baptized in the Holy Ghost. When, um, with uh, John the Baptist baptized him. And the Holy Ghost came on him in the form of a dove. And Jesus was baptized in the Holy Ghost. So I put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. Not just to the Jews, but to the Gentiles. He shall not cry nor lift up nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break and smoking flax shall he not quench until he bring forth judgment unto truth. And if you will skip down with me to verse 6. I, the Lord, have called thee, Jesus, in righteousness and will hold thine hand and will keep thee, will keep thee, and will give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles, will give thee, he will keep thee, and he will give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. Notice the Lord said, I, God said, I will keep thee. Do you know? Back when I was a teacher, we, uh, we, I was teaching reading. And one of the books that my children would read uh, had to do with some uh, South American, na na um, what do you call it, native tribes before the Spanish came over. And one of those tribes had human sacrifices. And I remember 
when I learned about this growing up in history, we considered those acts absolutely barbaric. Absolutely barbaric. Human sacrifice. Amen. But do you know the reason you're here is because of a human sacrifice? Amen. Did you ever consider that? The reason you are here is because of a human sacrifice. Amen. And do you know that that human sacrifice was given to us by God? Given. It was God's idea. It was God's plan. And that plan was talked about starting from Genesis up until Jesus went to the cross. The Father had a plan for a human sacrifice. You say, it, way back in Genesis, do you remember Abraham? When Abraham was going to offer up Isaac, and he had the hand, he had the knife in his hand, he was going to perform a human sacrifice. And who asked for it? God did. He said, give me your son. Sacrifice him on that mountain. Abraham was going to obey the father. His only son. His only son through Sarah. The one that God promised. God promised this one. And now God wants him back. And Abraham took the child up, put the knife, had the knife in his hand. And God said, uh, an angel stopped him and said, Abraham, stop. But you know, on the way up there, that child, didn't realize he was going to be today's sacrifice. And he looked at his father and he said, Father, where's the sacrifice? You got the wood, you got the knife, you got the fire. Where's the sacrifice? You know what Abraham told his son? God will provide himself the sacrifice. Amen. He did right here. He kept Jesus. Kept him. Kept him. Why? Because he was going to be our sacrifice. He kept Jesus. Behold my servant in whom I uphold. Oh, he kept Jesus. And Jesus listened to the Father. Why? Because Jesus knew. Knew he was going to be the human sacrifice. He knew it. And he walked and he obeyed the Father. And he laid down his life. And it says here, I will give thee for a covenant. I'll give thee for a covenant of the people. Turn with me to Hebrews 8. Thank God for that human sacrifice that was planned for by God. Why the human Amen. sacrifice? Hebrews, Thank let's go God. to Hebrews 8, verse 10. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel, the one that he gave Jesus for. He said, after those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be Amen. to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me, even the Gentiles. But why? For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness, and their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. The new covenant. Do you know once that sacrifice was made, once Jesus laid down his life, Amen. once God put him on the cross, and like I said this morning, made sure that every sin ever committed went on his body. Every sin, every sin that I committed, Jesus wasn't going to die until every one of my sins got on his body. Every one. Do you know it's the same with you? God made sure Jesus wouldn't die until they all got on him. Amen. Every one, every sin. He who knew no sin became sin. Why did he know no sin? Because the Father kept him. Yes. Kept him so he would be ready. So he could receive our sins. So that lamb without spot, without wrinkle could take on our sin. And the Father laid them on him. Amen. My sin. And when Jesus died, that blood, that blood covered, cleaned, took away my sin. Amen. Took it away. Took it away. Justified me. That blood took it away. You know what? I can't offer anything else. I can't do anything Amen. else. 
There is no more sacrifice I can give other than the sacrifice that Jesus gave for me. There is no more sacrifice. It only took one, but it was a perfect one. My only sacrifice is to believe it when I don't want to. And that can be a real sacrifice. But that's the only thing required of me. That is the only thing required of you. The covenant has been made. We didn't ask for it. We didn't even want it, but God did it anyway. He made Jesus our sacrifice, and that blood cleanses us from all sin. All sin. And if you'll go with me, one more verse. Verse 11 in chapter 9. The Christ being come a high priest of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is not to say this building, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, his own blood, he entered into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. Amen. The sacrifice was made, that barbaric human sacrifice was made on my behalf and I have been redeemed from all the power of the devil. So have you, if you will believe. All yours. You ready for me? Yeah. Would you turn to Hebrews 13, 15? Sure will. And uh, read to them what I do a lot of. Oh, yeah. Make sacrifice of praise. There you go. To God continually. <laughs> Even when we don't want to. That's Verse 15. Right. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Yeah. I, I will just confess it. It's three in the morning. <laughs> yep. And I'll say, Katie, what time is it? Yep. Uh, it's 10 after 3. Oh. Praise God. <laughs> Could you believe that be a sacrifice? Oh, yeah. Trust me, it's possible. Amen. I hear it often in the mornings, in the morning hours. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah. Thank God. Right. Amen. Amen. What do we do next? That's up to you. Well, I think we should go to some songs. Amen. For my benefit. Amen. No, one minute. Lord, thank you. As a servant of the Lord, I have some amazing assignments. One of them is praying someone in the heaven. Amen. I won't tell you who it is, but I'll tell you when it happens. I'm praying someone in the heaven. I've watched you do it before. A sing. Amen. We are able to go up and take the country to possess the land from Jordan to the sea. Oh, the giants back there, how we do him there. Our God is here and that's a victory. We are able to go up and take the country to possess the land from Jordan to the sea. Oh, the giants back there, how we do him there. Our God is here and that's a victory. We are able to go up and take the country to possess the land from Jordan to the sea. Oh, the giants, maybe they're how we do him there. Our God is given us a victory. We are able to go up and pay the country to possess the land from Jordan to the sea. Oh, the giants, maybe they're how we do him there. 
Our God is given us a victory. We are able to go up and break the country, to possess the land from Jordan to the sea. There the giants may be there, our leader hinder. Our God is given us a victory. We are able to go up and break the country, to possess the land from Jordan to the sea. Dancing is a joy unto his heart. Well, I will sing, I will dance unto the Lord. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. Dancing is a joy unto his heart. Well, I will sing, I will dance unto the Lord. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. Dancing is a joy unto his heart. But I will sing, I will dance unto the Lord. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. Dancing is a joy unto his heart. Well, I will sing, I will dance unto the Lord. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. I will sing, I will dance, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. Rejoice in the Lord my God. The Lord reigneth, the Lord reigneth. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For the Lord our God, omnipotent, reigneth in majesty. Oh, the Lord reigneth, the Lord reigneth. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, the Lord reigneth, the 
invite you to visit Water of Life Church at 1621 18th Street in Plano, Texas. Or for further information, call area code 972-578-8082. That's 972-578-8082. Or write Doyle Davidson, Post Office Box 861327, Plano, Texas 75086. That's Doyle Davidson, Post Office Box 861327, Plano, Texas, 75086. This program was paid for by Water of Life Church. <laughs>